Hi guys, this is part one of Cherokee Park, Tennessee, um, and New Tazewell, Tennessee as well. Um, I went to do, put the whole video together, and I, and I do it through my own, own phone, and I wasn't able to, to put the entire video together, because I can only include 60 items in, um, in one video, and I did a, a lot of video, I did a lot of videos, and then when I, I did the regular videos, I followed up with a number of slideshows, so, and of course, introductions to those slideshows, so, anyway, this is the introduction to, um, to, to, to the, to, uh, part one, Cherokee Park, um, and kind of, it's kind of memories a little bit, but, all the pictures are new. All the videos are brand new. I just started videos. Anyway, um, I got cut off. In the next video, you'll see I got cut off a little bit. Um, I went in for my MRI yesterday. I also made an appointment for my ex-husband and I to get our COVID vaccines. Um, that'll be Thursday. I go for physical therapy on Thursday. Anyway, um, so I kind of have to do... This video is kind of... I had to kind of add an int introduction to this video and I'll kind of add like a little ending to the video too as well because um, I've got to wrap it up anyway um, and so basically I had no choice I had I'm not sure how many uh, I'm not sure how many I had all together but when I got to 60 it stopped me so that I couldn't include any more so since I I in this video this is the video starting with Cherokee Park, going all the way up to a New Tazewell, Tennessee, and most of them are regular videos. There, there's only a couple of slideshows in this particular um, video. Anyway, there's maybe two or couple, just maybe a couple. That's it, two, three, no more than that. And then the next one will be pretty much slideshows, which I d didn't want to do that. I wanted to put it like all together, but I guess it just turned out, uh, my phone says, nope, you can't do more than 60, so I thought about downloading Filmmaker, doing it from that one, as I think you can, can include up to 200 items with Filmmaker, but, you know, I just decided I, I'm not going to do that, it's getting late, I, you know, and I need to leave here, so anyway, um, on to the next, on to the video, and I'll see you when I wrap the video up vaccine and one for my ex-husband as well. Anyway, I was, I left uh, Canton, North Carolina this morning and I decided to just, you know, go explore a little bit today and tomorrow because on Thursday I have to be back. Um, anyway, here is where all my problems started last year with my Ford Taurus and I thought I would, um, you know, go over that again. Anyway, you know, I would just come back to the place where it all kind of started. It didn't actually start right here, um, but when I left, when I left Morristown last year, when I left Morristown, the car ended up dying on the side of the road up near Hartford, right, right before the North Carolina line. So I decided to um, come back and kind of revisit this whole area. I think I was here last year in September, maybe August or September, and my focus, which of course was just totaled in a in a semi accident. Um, anyway, well I'm back here now. Um, the first video, the first two videos you're going to see are of a little raccoon that I um, videotaped while I was sitting here. It's I'm not too far from the trash can, and he was like in and out grabbing food. So those are the two, first two videos you're going to see, and then I'm going to take a walk, and I will be back with you guys a little bit later. Hey guys, look, there's a little raccoon. I'm out here at the Cherokee Park, and he's in the trash can eating, and I guess he kind of, I don't know, he's kind of sitting up there staring at me. He got in the trash can, then he ran out a few times. Now there he is, he's eating. Oops, let's, I'm catching the bottom of my, top of my car window, which I don't want to do. Let's zoom in a little bit more. I guess he must be hungry. He's um, in the trash can.
Oh my, looks like he found him something big. Yeah, somebody put a, a bag of trash in there with some food in it. And he's decided to, um, I wonder what that is he's got. Oh, looked like part of a sandwich he took off. Oh, well. He'll be back in a minute, I'm sure. Okay, he's back for the bag again. Hey, little raccoon. Hey, little raccoon. Oh, my. Looks like you found someone's lunch plate. Like me. I just went to Food City and got me a lunch plate. It looks like that's what someone did. They dumped out their lunch plate. And whatever was left in it, he's eating. Hey, little raccoon. 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 Well, obviously I'm trying to get him to look at the video or get look at the camera, but he won't. He's too busy looking for food. Ah, there he went again. Hey, guys. I'm still out here at the Cherokee Park. Um, I thought I'd walk through here again. Anyway, let me turn you guys around. down all the way or zoom all the way out to only 0.5 is what I did it's a beautiful day out here today a lot of geese a lot of ducks out here I swear it is I think it's hotter here in this little area of Tennessee which is not too far from Morristown than even in South Carolina, or at least upstate South Carolina, that is. Anyway, yeah, here's all the boats. There are many, 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 many boats out here. Here's another view. Another angle, rather. zoom in oh yeah that's what I like oh now you can get a good view of all the boats here's another view or angle just down the um, way from the first one This green houseboat here, that is the houseboat I like. Okay, now I'm out here at the lake.
some ducks. Yeah, bye bye. This is what I wanted to uh, do a video of anyway. Out here facing the sun. Oops, oops, oops. My apologies, guys. Did not mean to put fingers up in front of that. Okay, now I'm at the edge of the parking area on this side of the lake. The wind's blowing too. That feels good. Okay, here's the area that I passed a moment ago. I didn't stop because there were a lot of ducks, a lot of geese out there, and they're usually okay, but sometimes I've had them run up to me and kind of try to bite my feet. Anyway, there's an old abandoned mobile home out here. It was abandoned or empty last year, too. I also noticed that my ankle's hurting a little bit. Most of last year I wore a brace on it. Okay guys, here's a duck out here. Now don't you come toward me now. You just stay over there on your side and I'll stay on mine. Well, he's not moving. Here's one a white duck. Yeah, it looks like he's trying to get away. Yeah, guys, I think he's hollering for his comrades. His comrades have already left. Hi guys, this next slideshow is of a green houseboat. There's also a white houseboat in there. I really like the green one. I did a video of that. Anyway, um, I really like the houseboats, so here's a slideshow of them. The next slideshow is of the lake area. Okay, guys, I'm still here at the Cherokee Park. Um, I'm getting ready to leave and run down to Weigel's. 
which is just around the corner. I am really, really thirsty. Um, I can't do a whole lot of walking. I noticed my ankles bothering me, and last year I kept it braced for like three months. So I gotta be really, really careful about that. I also need to pick up another pair of sandals, or I'd like to get a pair of better flip-flops at least. Anyway, um, I'm headed down to Weigel's to get something to drink. I'll be back with you guys a little bit later. I'm here at Weigel's. I just went in and I got myself something to drink. I got a fountain drink, which I haven't had in a really long time. I don't think I've drank any fountain drinks in like, um, I don't know, months probably. I just got to a point where I was a little... I don't know, a little cautious, maybe leery, if you if you will, you know, with the whole COVID thing. So anyway, so I wasn't, um, I'm just buying bottled drinks. But anyway, today I decided to get me a, you know, a fountain drink, half Diet Pepsi, half Cherry Pepsi. Anyway, um, I'm leaving, I'm, I'm leaving Cherokee Park now. I've already took some pictures, explored a little bit, went over that. I was here a lot last year. Anyway, now I'm going to head down. I think it's Highway 160 and see what else I can uh, find to take pictures of. I'll be back with you guys a little bit later. Hi, I'm out here uh, next to a river. Um, I'm about probably about 20 miles outside of Morristown, probably maybe closer to Tazewell or Tazewell, however, however you pronounce that. Anyway, in Tennessee. Um, Anyway, I remember this area from last year. I took a bunch of pictures here. I'll probably get out and take a few more, but I took a bunch last year. As a matter of fact, I put those pictures in another, a previous video, um, like walking down memory lane or memories from last year. Anyway, I wasn't in my Taurus, the one that gave me so many issues. That car gave me so many issues last year. Um, I'm hoping I can get the car back to, to, to running, um, you know, uh, at least my ex -hus ex husband could use it to go back and forth to to his job. As of right now, he's the only one bringing in any income, so that would be a help. Anyway, I'm not sure I would ever be comfortable taking it out on a road trip again. I'm just so because I have I've had issues twice with it like that. Not dying in the road. Not the first time I didn't die in the road, but anyway, um, I'm not sure I'd ever feel comfortable or really safe in it. Um, it it would. It would take a while. It would take a, a, a it take really take some time of me maybe taking it out and driving it, but I really wouldn't want to drive it very far. If I drove it, it'd only be for a day trip maybe, um, and that's about it. I really don't. Anyway, I would like to get the car back on the road, and I would like to maybe drive it again, but but not not all the time. Not like I'm doing now because I've got this car. And I know how important it is to stay in it, drive it, and pretty much drive it every day. Um, I did that with my, um, I had another Taurus, a 2001 Taurus, many years ago. And I drove it every day for, for four years. And I really didn't drive anything else unless it had to go to the shop or something. And, you know, and that was only a day here, day there. Then I would drive something else. But I drove that car every day for four years. And I really didn't have any issues so I did do a lot of repairs. I did do a fair number of repairs, probably maybe a little more than what I maybe should have, but but it was never it, it was never out of commission for more than a day or two at a time. Um, the biggest, the only time it was really out of commission for about a month was when it had to have a valve job at 175,000. So that's really the biggest thing I did to that car. Um, did a few other things, but they, you know, car repairs are not cheap. Anyway, um, anyway, that said, I remember this because last year I was in my Ford Focus and there's another little area down there that I also want to go to. But first I got to go up here somewhere and maybe find a bathroom. If I'm not mistaken, I think there is a little area, maybe about two miles down the road toward Tazewell or Tazewell with some place I can go to the bathroom. I, th I think there is because I think I remember last year, same thing. I drank some Coke her drink Pepsi or something and ended up having to go to the bathroom real bad. So I had to leave, go down there. And I don't think I came back. I, I don't remember. But two things, two things. One, last year I had to wear a, a brace on my ankle for like months. And that was really bad. Um, also, um, I, I had a lot of issues with the left side of my neck last year. Oh my God. 
tons of issues. I don't know why, but it just hurt. I did something to it. I don't know what. And it hurt so bad. And it would just pop and crack. And it was just really bad. And my ex-husband got on me, said quit doing that. But it hurt so bad. I, I don't know. It just... I slept wrong on it one day, and then it just kind of wouldn't, didn't want to do what it was supposed to do. Anyway, that said, I was here in this area about, probably about August. It was probably about August of last year, because it was after I had my problems with that other car, my, my Ford, any, my, my Taurus. Anyway, I was here, right here on the river here, and I remember this because I walked down this, just down this little uh, two-lane highway, which I'm going to, I'm going to get out and show you guys in a second. And somewhere down there, I am I was wearing flip-flops, as I am today, and I must have stepped in an ant bed because I remember the ants got on my foot, started biting me. I had to come back to the car, uh, back to the Focus, and I had to take off the brace and try to get the ants off. And I had to soak my foot with, I don't know what I had, alcohol. I know I had alcohol, but I also, I think I had something else, too, to spray my foot down with. I don't remember. But anyway, um... I'm going to get out here and take a few pictures and maybe do a little bit of video. Okay, guys, I'm out here at this little um, river that I uh, told you guys about earlier. Um, really beautiful, beautiful area. Uh, the little town of New, New Tazewell or Tazewell, Tazewell, whatever, however you say it. Um, was quite, was a little bit further than, um, two miles. I thought it was only a couple miles, but it wasn't. It was more like 10 or 11 miles. Anyway, I finally got up there, found a food city to go to the bathroom. It's like, it's like completely right off of the, it, it, it's not, it, it's like you have to take a left-hand turn onto this road to even get to the town area. And I overshot it just like I did the last time. I remember being in my little Ford Focus and I think sh overshooting it and actually going up to Food City and using the bathroom. And I, I think I did come back. I think I did come back. Um, or maybe I didn't. I, I don't remember. But actually, I take that back. I think I took another turn that took me down Highway 33 to Sneedville or something like that. Anyway, um, so I got... I went into Food City and I turned around. I came back. It's a little bit later than it was. Um, but I'm still going to take this video. Take a few pictures. Do a little bit of a slideshow for you guys. Um, anyway, it, like I said, it was further. About 10 or 11 miles rather than the 2 miles that, um, that, that I thought it was. And right down there where I parked my car is also where I stepped in an ant bed the last time. And I was wearing my ankle brace. So I'm going to try not to. I'm going to be careful this time. I don't want to. I don't, I'm not wearing an ankle brace now. But I don't want to step in ants. It's about 7 o'clock. So it's getting a little bit later. I wanted to do the video a little bit earlier, but anyway, it's pretty out here, and darn it if I'm not having to go to the bathroom again. So as soon as I leave here, I'll probably end up going back to the food city, because I know where it is. It's only like 10 or 11 miles before I head to my last stop. This is the area on the other side of, across the street from the river, really pretty. Um, it's getting, would have been better a little bit earlier. I know when I got out of my car, I heard a lot of, uh, probably birds, squirrels probably in there. Hey guys, flowers. The last time I was here, I don't remember there being any flowers, probably because it was August or September. So they might have been out, but I don't think they were. So anyway, I got some really beautiful pictures of the little flowers. Especially this little one down here. Oh, that's nice. 
I like these little areas that are uh, off the beaten path. Actually, I wasn't on high. Earlier, I said I was on Highway 160. That is not accurate. I am on Highway 25, or tw I think it's 25E, which this one said going toward Rutledge, uh, Rutledge, Tazewell. Anyway, I really like these little, uh, uh, you know, I, I like the highways that are off the beaten path, if you will. Um, that's a little ways from the truck stop where I'll be tonight, but I really, I, I do like it. I really like the off the beaten path uh, highways because, you know, I, I don't encounter the truckers and, you know, and I've never had an issue with them before, but now that I've had my accident, I am much more uh, cautious, much more, uh, I, I, I start to get a little, little panicky if I have to come to a fast stop, so, so, and this highway out here is not a whole lot of traffic, so it's, it's, it's a good, you know, it's a good, uh, you know, these little off the beaten path roads, they're really, really, um, they're really, really, for me, I, I, I like much better. I see something up there. I'm not sure. I don't think that's a house. I think that's an old building of some kind. Anyway, so that's one thing I like. I like being, it's a four lane road, four, four lane highway as well, but I'm okay with two lane. Doesn't matter. Just a, 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 a less traveled road. Well, so far I've seen about four, maybe five truckers go down this uh, highway, uh, U.S. Highway 25E or E North, whatever. Well, not necessarily going north. They weren't all going north. A couple of them were going south. But anyway, they were on 20, uh, U.S. 25. Um, I'm surprised. I, I didn't see any. There were no truckers earlier, but, you know, maybe they're just starting their day, whatever. I don't know. But anyway... But ne nevertheless, it's still not as busy or, or heavily traveled by truckers as, say, uh, interstate. I'm, I'm off, I'll be off of I-40. Okay, guys, I'm out here at the highway now. Turn you guys around. There's two people out here fishing. I know as I came up the I've just walked from my car down here to the to the highway and I know as soon as I um walk down here I see there's two guys or two people down there fishing and as soon as I got down here I know some looking at me so they probably I'm doing my videos and they probably think that I'm talking to myself or something similar anyway here's uh this is a nice, it's, it's getting late. Well, like I said earlier, it's getting, it's a little past seven, I think now. By eight o'clock, it'll be dark. I mean, I'm gonna walk down here just a little bit further, and then I'm going to walk back to my car. I'm not that far. I'm really close to my car. Let me zoom back out, that looks better. Up here, that looks much better. Anyway, I'm going to walk back toward my car and then walk on the other direction. Okay guys, I know I promised I wouldn't take any more videos until I got back to the other side, but I thought I'd just do a short one right here. Okay guys, it's at almost 8 o'clock, like 5 minutes to 8, and I've got to take off. i got to head back down to New Tazewell and go to the bathroom, like I said before, about 10, 11 miles. But that's as close as I'm gonna get, I think. So I gotta wrap it up and head back down, down there to the bathroom. Um, I'm gonna have a few slideshows for you guys. So I'll be back with those a little bit later and a final video. It's kind of uh, marshy and uh, swampy kind of on this area, as you can see right there, the tree. It's about halfway up on the tree, as you can see right there. Uh, I don't want to put my finger there, but you can see it. It's kind of, like I said, kind of marshy out here.
here's a better view of the uh, the tree right there in the grass and the and the marsh I, I guess you call that marshland so, much better view right there and of course you can still see that tree anyway but this is the area I like with all those pretty pretty beautiful yellow flowers There is so much litter out here on the side of the road. That is something that I really, really hate. Because there's no excuse for that. There are trash cans everywhere. There's trash cans at every gas station. I just, I just hate that. Anyway, that's beautiful in the backdrop. I mean, the sun on the backdrop there. Hi, this wraps up uh, part one of Cherokee Park and New Tazewell, Tennessee, um, and all the videos I did, and it's kind of like a partly memory, partly, but everything's brand new. I did all the videos today. Anyway, it's getting late. It's after 11 o'clock. I am at a food city, and I've got about an hour drive to get to the pilot truck stop where I'm going to be tonight. So anyway, uh, there's two parts to this. This is part one, and then there will be another part. I tried to put, as I said earlier, I tried to put them all together, but I couldn't. It won't allow but 60. Anyway, um, this is this wraps up this video. Um, uh, I need to go eat, watch a movie, whatever. Anyway, um, this wraps up part one of Cherokee Park in New Tazewell, Tennessee. Um, God bless. Peace.